Hello everybody, Stuart here from Stubu Gaming. Today, playing Vermintide, um, the end times I think it's called. Um, I've done some videos on this before, but not many at all. And to be honest, I do prefer Vermintide 2, but I haven't finished either of them. So I wanted to play them in order, because I don't know whether they actually one lead to the other, if that makes sense. So uh, I thought I'd uh, get on and play some Vermintide. So let's go. Um, right, okay, so I'm in game with two bots and one other person. I don't even know whether you can communicate with other people on this game. Oh, I know this one. I always fall into this habit. Just swing, 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 swing. <laughs> About as much control as uh, a car with no steering wheel. Um, Black powder. Ah, well, this. it's not like the gate kept the Rocky out in the first place, yeah, is it? Yeah. Oh, I was being hit. <laughs> oh dear. No, don't. How the hell do you put this down? Uh, you don't. You just get blown up instead. Well, I'm nice and healthy. So, for those of you who've not played it, um, basically you have five. I think it is. Four or five different classes. Um, in fact, I think it's four in this game. You've got the uh, Templar, which is the guy with the funny headdress and the huge hammer that you can see wandering around occasionally. You've got a mage, you've got a rogue, and then you've got the ranger. Now, the ranger is actually a dwarf, so that, there's the uh, Templar, and the other two are in the distance at the moment. Um, so yeah, the Dwarf and Ranger, so what that does mean is I do have multiple weapons, so I've got my axe and I also have a uh, crossbow. I don't like using the crossbow too much because not only is it, I will show you though, um, not only is it um, quite difficult to aim but you do have limited ammunition. You do have to find ammo crates to refill it, so... Doesn't look like any of us are doing well. Yeah, give up with the crossbow. <laughs> it's a good thing about the uh, dwarf, the the attacks with the melee especially are extremely powerful, so... Right, let's protect those while they get the last uh, barrel. Where are they? Oh, come from the other direction this time. Oh, great. We are literally so nearly dead, all of us. I didn't get him, but he's down, which is a good thing. I really don't know how I'm still alive. I've got practically no health whatsoever. Need to find some health potions. I'm 
unfortunately they can literally be anywhere. And one thing, while I'm looking for a potion, um, one thing that I have noticed about this game and I'm not really sure about is the fact that there doesn't seem to be a, oh excellent, healing, um, there doesn't seem to be a specific storyline that you can follow, um, it's very lobby based so you go into a lobby and you just play random missions, so there's no follow this mission to this mission it's just literally just doing loads of different ones and to be honest I'm not really sure whether I've actually ever done all of them um, I probably haven't in reality love these things you have to get them in the head if you don't you don't kill them oh I got three of them it's scurrying around would wake the dead so yeah, I've seen this mission quite a few times and I actually don't know how many missions are in the game. Um, it might be the fact that there's like two or three that I've never actually played or maybe even more than that. Nearly dead again, I've only just healed myself. Tower, let's go. Not smash any of the crates. I hope it heals better than it tastes. Oh, hey, thanks for uh, taking the draft. It's very nice of you. Gas right close. Open the chest, you take the healing. <laughs> Luckily I've got one of the bandages and it does appear that it's actually um, healed me a bit more than the draft would. They've not given up. Not yet. Ammunition crate, that's what one looks like. So I used to be having to be a little bit tactical. Oh, what's in here? An empty chest. Wonderful. That's just what I didn't want. I think it's probably better for sp in speed for me. Oh! His face came through. I do like that, the fact that you can literally smash a door down, but only if it's one that you're allowed to open. It makes you wonder why you can smash the ones you're allowed to open, but you're not allowed to smash others. Well, I know why. It's to stop you from going to areas they don't want you, but the answer to that is don't put a door there. Um, yeah, you should be able to smash down locked doors. There's no point in smashing down a a door you can actually open. In my opinion, of course. The one thing about this game, the enemies do really hit hard. And this is on normal difficulty. There are three difficulties, easy, normal and hard. Um, it might be that once you've completed the game, it unlocks very hard or whatever, but I'm not really sure. But, um, yeah, the, the enemies hit like bulldozers half the time. Oh, another empty chest. Thank you for that, developers. It's even worse than I thought. And I know how to paint a clearly picture. Sentry grenade, okay. Soon you'll join my promise in arms. Don't leave me with the elf and the witch, Sergeant. 
rattling gun. Where is he? We're almost there. Headshot again. How did that miss? That didn't. Oh, good grief. Now you can actually do a wide swing, but you have to hold the button down. So you have to do that quite tactically where you, you back away. Back away while you hold it and then rush forward. Oh, there he is. Okay. Comes. Somebody else managed to get him. He's down at least. Good Seem to be missing a load at the moment. There we go. In all reality, the, the actual game design for this is pretty decent. The um, Graphically, it's quite nice. And for the age of it, it's, uh, it's still holding up quite well. Oh, good grief. Yeah, I must admit, sometimes with the dwarven sl uh, the dwarven ranger, it's not a slayer, it's a ranger. Um, it is best to hang back with the crossbow, but I much prefer the. Uh, I do much prefer the gameplay with the axe. That thing will not die. Looks like a um, treasure goblin from Diablo 3. Well, last time I was around here, just here, there was a, uh, a gunner. But maybe that's the one we killed over there. Hello. Hey, treasure goblin, come here. Come here. Oh my god. He's actually dodging all of my crossbow bolts. You can see him do a little jump. It's another... I actually cannot believe this guy. Where is it? Where's he gone? Bet you he's got some really good equipment as well. Oh my god, they are miles away. I smell some ammunition. Should maybe I've got some ammo in the way past, but never mind. I need to catch up. Hopefully find some healing because uh, let's face it, I'm not feeling overly well. Oh, they are waiting for me. Go. These are dark days, but at least Sylvania Hello. The guy's trying to clear his seal. But how? Some wizard. The Supreme Patriarch himself. Oh my god. What? You sneaky little devil. <laughs> Didn't even realise the lift had stopped and I got dragged out. How rude. Healing. I need some healing. Mm. So be it. 
Up the stairs. Must have played this entire mission with red health. Head off while he was lying on the floor. It's an interesting one. I, I have no idea why he looked like he was hiding against the wall. That made no sense. Alright, mate. Certainly, um, pretty certain the bandages heal more because that took me just past halfway, whereas I'm sure the other one took me almost to full. Let's go and sound the horn. That's a loud horn. Unfortunately, there is no safe place in this mission. You can see them all coming down the walls. Oh, not for that, assassin. Probably be more calculated with my uh, attacks. But hopefully, that strength potion will help. Storm Vermin, come here. I don't know whether it was me who got that person up then. Aye. A good shot. Oh my god. Okay. Um I could be in trouble here. Or I could just set them all and myself on fire. But that also works. I'm guessing you can't hurt yourself with fire. Although is that swing attack I was talking about. Back away and then... Wait for it. Again, I seem to be surviving on the lowest health possible. Or 
not, as the case is. Thank you. Now this I don't understand. I don't understand why your health goes white after you've been uh, knocked down. Once you've been revived, you have a, a white health bar rather than red, yellow or green. Not really sure what that signifies. Nothing much else round. There we go. Down, oh, it's another player. It's actually another player. Come on, then. So, can't start the platform until you get on. Stay with me, stranger. The false moon watches us like an evil eye. There we go. Because as long as all the players are on here, we can activate it. And it teleports the bots. Well guys, just need to get to Alessia's wagon and then that's the exit. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please make sure you click the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And when you do, please make sure you click the bell icon as well. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know uh, whether you want to see more on Vermintide. And Vermintide 2, of course. And... Uh, Thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon. You all take care, and bye for now.